watching Amazing Fire TV. Amazing Fire TV. Impacting the world for Christ. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We give God who lives in heaven all the glory. What a joy to be part of your schedule today. I want to really thank you for dialing in, for being part of this global uh, broadcast. Wherever you are watching this broadcast from, I want to believe that it is not a coincidence that God has a purpose and a reason why he has sent me your path. I believe in the name of the Lord that God does not in any iota of, of his timing makes mistake. And if you are a child of God that have been saved by grace and you believe on the redemptive and the restorative capacity of God in the life of those who seek him diligently, I believe that wherever you are, this timely broadcast by the grace of God will be a very big impact and meaningful uh, catalyst to your pursuit towards fulfilling God's restorative agenda in your life, your calling, and even your ministry. I want to thank God because what I'm going to be sharing with you today is not just an assignment by God alone. I am going to be doing this added with deep revelational teaching and also based on divine encounter of how God has picked me out from nowhere and have planted my feet on the rock to stand so that I can be able to come before this platform as the president of, by his grace and mercy, the president of the Emancipation Fire Global College of Bishop Apostles and also chaplain and ministerial network to be able to communicate to everyone whether you are a bishop, whether you are an apostle, a prophet, a chaplain, or a minister, in any level of divine commitment that the Lord has called you to walk in his vineyard, it is very strategic that after you have experienced God's salvation, the salvation you have experienced is a catalyst towards you standing on the next level of redemptive uh, his redemptive privileges so is the your salvational encounter that gives you a platform for you to begin to make a demand of your redemptive right as a child of God God did not just call us to be saved but he also called us to be restored to be redeemed i mean for us to be exactly the way he had it in mind in the garden of eden now that is why wherever you are as we come closer to rapture as we come closer to the end of the age as we come closer to the second coming of our lord and savior jesus christ it is important that as long as you keep on um you keep on carrying out constant check of your spiritual your spiritual thermometers i mean carrying out constant check of your spiritual personality to be ready for the second coming of our lord there is also a need for you also to have a rethink about your redemptive capacity by redemptive capacity i am talking about you being able to handle those resources those resources that are needed for destiny fulfillment and also for kingdom expansion in this life and in your ministry and that is why we started a very serious program which many of us were part of and some of us are still part of that has to do with the team that we titled the oil and the fire consecration for supernatural wealth transfer and attraction 
and in one of those days the lord opened my eyes opened my eyes to see these supporting issues these supporting issues that we are about to discuss today and wherever you are i would appreciate that you take your pen you take your writing material as we go deep via experiences divine encounter and revelation to know exactly how we we can activate and catalyze some of the mystery behind attracting the transfer of supernatural wealth and resources that we guarantee us for kingdom expansion and redemptive kingdom attraction now i'm going to be talking on a topic that is titled my garment my wealth transfer catalyst i repeat my garment my divine wealth transfer catalyst my garment my divine wealth transfer catalyst you know having been in the fivefold level of ministry on many occasions via apostolic and and, and and prophetic encounter we have come across people that will will always come to people and say man of god i dreamt that i saw myself naked or sometimes some people will come and say man of god i dreamt and i saw i saw myself putting on rags in the dream or i dreamt and i noticed that my cloth was stolen and when i found my cloth i saw it in the septic tank or i was dreaming and i saw an old woman or an old man pour me septic waste or i was in the dream and i saw myself moving with a lot of nasty abominable animal following me because not only that because flies was following me but because i was thinking in the dream i was smelling in the dream i have had a lot of people speak about some of these encounters in the realm of the spirit in their dream in their vision but never a time have i precisely engaged god in this topic that we are about to look at which is very very important in our pursuit for supernatural world transfer this is inevitable you need to deal with this issue child of god i've gone through the scriptures and i'm going to be bringing two two correlative analysis of two persons that the bible clearly stated out the influence the influence or the influences of the garment of a man to divine wealth transfer now if we look at the book of genesis i want to start with the book of genesis in the book of genesis chapter 27 verse 27 i read i want you to watch this and he came near that was jacob and kissed him that was isaac kissing jacob and he smelled the smell of his raiment, otherwise known as garment now i want you to know that isaac as at this time was blind and because of his optic challenges his smell was used to pass on some level of judgment so as at this time isaac being a prophet of god knew that it was time for wealth riches and blessings to be transferred and being a prophet and being a man of god a man that have at different occasion had an encounter with god and have established on different occasion the principle and the precept of god as his guiding principle of oppression you must know this about isaac because he got it from his father abraham so at many occasions we saw isaac replicating the identity of a man who has the
decided to begin to live a prophetic lifestyle in the order of God. He was a servant of God, a man that obeyed God. And by, by the conviction of the Spirit, he knew it was time for him to meet his father. And by the prophetic agenda of God, one generation needs to transfer divine heritage of God to the next generation. And here was the scripture that is so important that told us about the functionality of the garment. Never at any time have I, have I seen this this way until the Spirit of God brought my attention to this situation. Even though I know that in most of our deliverance section, we see people come to complain about filthy garment. Um, we see people coming to talk about different things about their spiritual state. But it has not occurred to me that just like the devil tried to contaminate the physical entrance of men into their bread too, that God does the opposite. As a king, he operates in the opposite of those satanic principles. Here, we saw Isaac trying to show us some of the prophetic identity of God. Isaac, being a servant of God, he was trying to show us some of the ways his encounter with God and the prophetic identity. And he was doing this via the garment. The Bible said he smelled the smell of the garment of his son. Guess what happened? Now, 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 we began to see deep. As a man, a man of God, he knew that the smell of a garment can qualify you for 10 things. 10 things. The smell of your garment in the realm of the spirit, the smell of your garment, the quality of your garment in the realm of the spirit, the, 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 the capacity and the potentiality of your garment can do 10 things. From this scripture, we can be able to extract some of the things that your garment can do and your garment cannot do. Number one, we know that as he smelled the garment, he was able to release the blessing. The Bible said, and he blessed him. So, your garment, the quality of your garment in the realm of the spirit can either make your garment a releaser of the blessing or the releaser of a curse. But in this case, because the smell of the garment was a good one in the realm of the spirit, as Isaac was able to sense, the Bible said prophetically, even though he was not seen in the realm of the spirit, the smell of that garment was a releaser of the blessing. Now, I want you to understand this. Number two, the Bible also said, and he said, see, now, mind you, he was blind. So when he was saying, see, he was talking about the realm of the spirit, what he sees in the future, what he sees in the realm of the spirit. The Bible now says, the smell of my son, talking about the smell of the garment, what has he done? Is as the smell of a field, a field which the Lord has blessed. What is he talking about? The smell of your garment in the realm of the spirit can predetermine a blessed working environment for you. It can cause an atmosphere of blessing. It can release a cloud of the showers of blessing. Number three, because of time. Now, he now went further. In verse 28, he now said, in the realm of the spirit because of the way let's see verse 28 because of the way that your garment is smelling as with an aroma of a prophetic identity he now said 
this your garment I, in, in the realm of the spirit what I am saying is that God will give you the dew of heaven number four are you seeing that God will give you the dew of heaven and the dew of heaven is the catalyst of freshness is the catalyst of replenishment is the catalyst of fruitfulness the dew of heaven when the dew come the replenishment take place when the dew come the fruitfulness cannot be hindered so the garment you wear in the realm of the spirit can activate replenishment can activate multiplication can activate oh my god oh my god now it is important to understand this number five the bible now said he now made another prophetic revelation that the smell and the character of the garment you are putting in the realm of the spirit can determine the fatness of the earth the fatness of the earth so a man becomes fat on this earth a man become blessed on this earth because of the spiritual identity and the character of his garments hallelujah so your garment can be an instrument of wealth transfer as a catalyst number six he now said listen because of this garment in the realm of the spirit you will walk in plenty of corn and wine my god my god this is deep corn and wine talk about corn. he said you will and that corn and wine talks about the prophetic identity of israel he said that you you will begin to walk with man and with god you will begin to walk with god in favor you will god will bless you men will bless you god will increase you men will prosper you number six the bible now said in verse 29 because of this this garment that i smell now mind you isaac was blind he began to speak that i i am speaking based on what i see from your garment i smell he now said let people serve you because of this your garment people will serve you that means your garment can determine whether you are going to operate in servitude or you are going to operate in dominion in life and in ministry <sighs> number seven he now said nations shall bow down to you that means by the garment that you carry on spiritually that is why it's important as a bishop an apostle no matter the area where god has called you or commissioned you you have to be careful with how you deal with your spiritual garments you have to be careful about the nature and the character and the qualities of the capacity and the tenacity of the spiritual garment that you wear at any time because they have the capacity to attract good things when they are good and they have the capacity to attract negative situation and circumstances when they are manipulated against your favor the bible now told us that the garment the man put on spiritually will determine whether he will die as a local champion or he will become a global and an international voice to be reckoned with unbelievable when i saw this scripture i i i was i was so humbled and i began to look at this scripture and i saw a blind isaac saying i see what did he see he said because this garment is a catalyst 
I see this garment attracting divine wealth by making you become a voice to nations. I see you becoming wealthy because of this garment that people will bow, bow before thee. Because of this garment, anywhere you enter, where people are being cursed, but because your spiritual garment has a divine articulated smell that pleases God, it, your garment carries a prophetic smell, it carries a, an apostolic aroma. The Bible says, when you walk in the places where people are cursed, because of that spiritual identity of that garment, your garment will not do what? Will not attract the blessings and not resist the causes. Others are permitted to be cursed, but because you have the garment that carry a prophetic aroma and it carries an apostolic smell of identity. The Bible said, Isaac, though he was blind, now said, I see what your garment is doing in the realm of the spirit. It is attracting blessing, not just attracting blessing. Anyone that now come to bless you as you attract them, they will also be blessed in such a way that they will know that it was because they blessed you that they were blessed. Child of God, when I saw this, I, I took some days to seek the face of God. And I began to wonder. I said, oh God, open my eyes to see my spiritual state. What type of garments am I putting on in the realm of the spirit? Oh God. Open my eyes to know what type of garment, what type of garment, the prophetic revelation from the mouth of Isaac taught me a very prompt lesson in my relationship as it has to do with the issues of the characters of my garments. And that is why today we are looking at our spiritual apostolic prophetic spiritual garment of God on our life as a catalyst for supernatural wealth transfer we now saw where Jacob Jacob after he was blessed hear me and hear me well it's important you understand this. The Bible said, after Jacob has been blessed, his brother Esau now came. I know you have not seen this in the scripture, you have not imagined it from this dimension. But I want you to come down and listen to this. In the book of Genesis chapter 27, verse 33, Something caught my attention, child of God. Something caught my spiritual attention. Esau, Esau, now was speaking with his father, who was the prophetic mouthpiece and an oracle of God. And Isaac was trembling and shaking. And he said, and he said, who? Where is he that had taken venison and brought it to me? And I have eaten of all before thou camest. And I have blessed him. Yea, he shall be blessed. Look at the next verse. Look at what in Genesis chapter 39. Genesis chapter 39. Esau now said something before we pray. And I 
Isaac his father answered and said unto him when Esau asked his father is there nothing you have for me and his father said you know what your brother came with the garment that smells and is wearing the garment that garment is the attractor of the blessing you came directly from the field I am not smelling anything from you and he said but I want to tell you something I don't know whether that garment was stolen by your mother and given to your brother to get the blessing but something is very very important he said behold behold his place because of the garment shall be the fatness of the earth and the dew of heaven from above the father was now telling him again what will happen to jacob because of the smell of the garment look at 40 and 41 Esau now cried Esau now cried and that is where our cry will come out from Esau now cried and said God that is his father now do you mean you don't have anything for me the Bible now said his father told him until you break the yoke of your filthy garments because now you have been made to be naked what you are supposed to wear to receive the blessing your mother has given it to your brother and now you are spiritually naked but when you become restless you become uncomfortable and you understand this principle and you begin to pray then you will break that yoke of poverty because with that garment you become prosperous with that garment you become like the dew of heaven with that garment you become a place that the lord has lifted without the garment you become a curse without the garment you will struggle in life without the garment you will you will have hardship and frustration in life but the day you will be able to break off these things from that day henceforth and you'll be able to put on your garment you'll be able to build up a garment from that day god will come to you and give you rest child of god wherever you are i have one prayer point as i round up you need to pray first of all i want you to conveniently give your life to christ and after you have given your life to christ i want you to pray this prayer finally the father i come before you with a humble heart and a contract spirit lord any filthy garment that have been placed over my life that have made me to attract only the cause and the frustration my father change my garment and give me a garment of joy instead of the garment of mourning and frustration change my garment oh god take off the garment of frustration take off the garment of poverty take off the garment of lack take off the garment of frustration and reproach put upon me oh god the garment of beauty the garment that we order an open heaven of the men of your blessing thank you god for putting a new garment over my life in the name of jesus christ of nazareth we pray with thanksgiving amen receive a garment of favor you are now watching amazing fire tv amazing fire tv impacting the world for christ